Hey, my name is Santiago Mendes, and today I'm going to discuss about the progressive distillation for diffusion models using uniform distributions. So a little bit of background on the matter is that diffusions have been a groundbreaking achievement in image synthesis over the last few years, balancing computational efficiency with image quality. This new and innovative approach demonstrates that using significant fewer sample of badges can still yield comparable image quality to the models, to the original model, which uses um, an absurd amount of badges. However, a critical challenge persists. How can we keep um, a similar level of quality of the original um, model while still maintaining this uh, new, very lower computational power? My project was originally motivated by the observation of this loss of quality in the distilled models compared to their original counterparts. So a new question came to my head. Is it possible to maintain this processing speed while also keeping a similar, while improving image quality and keeping a similar image quality than the original counterparts? In order to do so, I implemented a distilled model that initialized use a Gaussian distribution and then modify this model in order to um, now use a uniform distribution. I mean to compare the image quality of the result of both models using PSNR score. PSNR is a measurement and of the quality of a reconstructed image compared to the original reference image. The closer the score is to 100, then the more it resembles the original counterpart, therefore the better the image quality. My hypothesis was that the uniform distribution might enhance the image quality since the data set that I was utilizing was a Celebat data set, which is basically a data set that contains um, a lot of faces and the data was, the, the, the algorithm was trained with this data. My hypothesis was that since faces mostly had shared the same color pixels, using a uniform distribution might enhance the quality of the creation of the image. However, the results uh, show a similar scores between both models, the Gaussian and the uniform, which was around 27 PSNR. This indicates that the challenge, the change in distribution had a limited impact on the overall quality. The key takeaways from our study is that while the uniform distribution in GANS offers a new perspective on diffusion models, it doesn't drastically alter the outcomes. This highlights the complexity involved in balancing speed and quality in such a tough matter as image generation. Moving forward, I would like to investigate more in order to advance and, and create techniques in order to uh, improve this, the quality of the image generated while also keeping this groundbreaking speed. Um, one of my initial approaches would be to explore our distribution models in GANs for quality improvements, not just uniform distribution. Um, so this is my presentation. Uh, thank you for your time.